Welcome back to Kids About Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is how many paper clips can fit in a glass of water? What you need for this experiment is paper clips, a glass, and water. So I've got two experiments. This is the first experiment. I've got a eight ounce glass and I'm going to fill it completely up all the way to the rim of the glass. So nothing left over. So you're going to keep going until it's all the way to the rim and you can kind of see it just going over there right like that so once it's all the way completely filled i just put a little bit more water so you can see it's just over the rim there and now you're going to predict guess how many paper clips can i fit into this glass of water all the way to the rim before it spills so i'm just using regular size paper clips so go ahead and make a guess and then i will start so I'm going to start putting these in, but I'm going to have it on fast motion so you don't have to see each one. And when I get to 50, I'll be able to let you see. Now you probably made a, a, predicted a number a lot smaller than it is where we're coming on 50 right now. Uh, when I will highlight when I get to 50. So you can always run it a little bit slower on YouTube to see if you really want to count. But here we go. There's 50 paper clips right there. So I'm going to continue to add paper clips, but I'm going to tell you the science behind this. So water molecules are polar, which meaning um, like magnets, they have a negative and positive ends. This causes the water molecules to be very attracted to each other. When you place them on a penny, like when we did an experiment placing drops on a penny, the force of the attraction between the water molecules overcomes the force of the gravity, at least for a while, and the water builds up like a dome over the top of the penny. Well, the same thing happens here with the glass of water. The surface is changing from a flat to a round dome, as you can see right here, and uh, it finally will get to a point where it can't support it, and then it will... Um, uh, spill out. Now just a second ago while I was explaining the, uh, the science behind this, we just passed 75 paper clips. So I'm continuing to go and this is in fast motion so you guys don't have to sit and watch the entire thing. But we are coming up towards the end here. Um, has I only bought a... <laughs> there was my 100th paper clip right there. I only bought one box. I did not think a 100 paper clips would fit in the in the glass. So I was not able to have the water tip over. So that's why I'm doing a second experiment here. And um, I'm going to uh, uh, have a lot smaller cup. And so we'll be able to see how many paper clips can fit in that. So you can see right there the dome and the water uh, surface tension that's built up. It hasn't built up enough to break. So here's a second experiment. Two ounce cup, like a shot glass. Fill it all the way to the rim. And then um, right there, you're going to make your prediction this time. Now, this is one fourth the size of the cup. And so we're going to make a prediction on how many paper clips can fit in this cup. So here we go. We're going to start putting the paper clips in. Um, and uh, there's one, two. I do have it up, uh, sp sped up a little bit so we don't have to watch it. So as we put them in, as you already can see, the glass is so much smaller. So it's not going to be able to take as many. But here we are at... 25 paper clips already and it's starting to fill up so um, one of the hardest things i had to do with this smaller cup is um to be able to make sure i dropped them in right so i would be able to be able to fit as many as i could you can start to see the surface tension build on the top here as i'm coming on 50 paper clips but i've almost filled the entire two ounce glass so uh i will continue to go as many as i can but i have a prediction that I'm not going to be able to fit all 100 in before the water breaks because I just don't have the room to be able to fit them in. So I'm coming to the end here. I think I'm just going to uh, finish it off. That was 60 paper clips. Um, I might put a couple more in, but I'm definitely not going to get 100 just for the size of the cup and how many I can put in there. So I think I'm going to finish with uh, 64 paper clips and I ran out of space. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to click thumbs up, subscribe, and to share. Thanks for watching.